you having this issue? Car on the track, she no go. It's likely a problem with your pickup shoes. So let's dig into this car and see what's going on. Get her over on the bench. Okay, so here we have our car. She's not going. I'm thinking clearly something wrong with the pickup shoes. Maybe the tires are too tall. You know, you try and pop the tires off, then she runs. Sometimes if you hold it at the right angle, it'll spin up and run. So, what I like to do, take the shoes off. And just make sure that you have your brush tension, your shoe tension, your spring tension, whatever you want to call it. And if these are laying flat, somebody bent them down too far, then you're not going to make good contact. Pick those up a little bit. Those look pretty good. Next area to look at. Sometimes these tabs that hold the shoes, if the car sits in like some hot uh, conditions, they can actually bend up or bend down or warp or bend in or out. And then the shoe will actually get stuck. And it won't won't spring freely if it has too much tension. Another thing to look for is see how this shoe is a little bit bent, like a, a little arch this way. That might be holding it up just a little bit, thousands of an inch. It's, you know, it's all you need to really mess your car up. Are the shoes flat so don't be don't be afraid to uh check these things out yourself a nice pair of flat jaw you know little jeweler's pliers squeeze it give it a squeeze flatten it out a little bit you can you can bend it a little more up a little more length. Give this middle section a squeeze. Make sure that's good and flat. I apologize for my big old meat hook hands. I'm trying a different camera thing here. Um, yeah, I mean, don't be afraid to experiment a little. Jaws on there and Straighten that out a little bit. Make sure you have a nice straight flat shoe. You don't want it, definitely don't want it bending in. Anything you want it to have if I if I can't ever get a shoe straight, I like them to have a little bit of a not a big arch, but just a little bit of a positive arch. If it bends in, then you could potentially lose a lot of contact. But a nice flat shoe on the rail is what you really want. Essentially what you want there. Nice free spring springs back, has some decent tension. You know, too much tension, you're gonna push yourself right out of the slot, but it's a happy medium. We'll come around to 
this side. Let's check this shoe out. This one also, same one as a slight bend to it. Someone, I mean, you could do that. You could try and limit the travel. More of a T-Jet non-mag thing. But, um, you know, I guess some guys try and do it with mag cars. Squeeze that. Make it nice and flat. These little pliers are wonderful for stuff like this. Put that one on. These life legs are nice. You don't have to mess with any springs or anything. Kind of like a nice uh, old Tyco. All right. So let's get this thing over on the track and see if we corrected our issues. Look at that. Fixed our problem. Actually, a pretty smooth car. Oh, tires need to... Uh, definitely need some new tires on her. Some silicones. These are pretty dry. She's pretty quick, though. So, yeah, if you get a car and it doesn't run, don't get discouraged, you know. Just do a little research, try and figure out what's going on. I used to get so mad when I bought a car and wouldn't run, but I didn't really know how to work on them myself a couple of years ago. Not HO cars, anyway. Big cars, I always worked on the 124s and stuff, but HO cars, I was totally lost. But yeah, there you go. Just a quick tech tip. Hopefully it helps someone. Till the next one. Take it easy.